damage that we're seeing is not isolated to any one part of the lung. This is severe damage to both lungs diffusely. It starts off as this viral infection, uh, and then it becomes a severe inflammation in the lungs. And when that inflammation does not subside with time, then it becomes essentially scarring in the lungs, creating long-term damage. And it could really impact somebody's uh, ability to breathe in the long term. This truly is a public health and a global health phenomenon. It is affecting every age group in just about every country now, certainly all 50 states in the U.S. So this is a nationwide, a global, a community problem. This is not addressed towards any one individual. I wanted to get this message out, get the get this picture out to the public so that people who so far have not been heeding the warning of public health professionals can perhaps see these images and see the destruction that is uh, being caused in the lungs and why these patients' lungs are failing to the point of needing a mechanical ventilator. Hopefully the public can see these images and really start to understand why this is so serious and how this virus really is not discriminating uh, amongst various people. Thank you.